position isn't really well suited to be taking out this army mouse also looks like he's going to be going for a base trade as he is just daisy chaining these guys into the main of the Mouse Hasu is a Demaga right now, not liking what's going on. Will be doing a counter track, trying to pull off the forces of Mouse Hasu. Mouse Hasu, though, continuing the attack, will be persecuting the main base. And Demaga's main is going to be in danger as well as these overlords. These overlords need to be scooting out there. And yes, we do see them lumbering away, trying to not be caught up by these stalkers. But we do see more and more of them as these queens will be going down. Meanwhile, we do have Demaga just chewing on this nexus of the main. So the Nexus does go down. Other, these other buildings will be suffering as well. We do see just massive, massive amount of destruction right now as we are just basically seeing a base trade. So Mouse Hasu chewing on this bait will be popping these drones as he tries to try to flee the middle lines. We only see one of them coming out of there actually able to get away and uh, the Colossus and all these are starting to rack up the kills. So the natural of Damaga will be the next on the threat list and we do actually have the rocks going down here. We do see Damaga sniping the other nexus of Mouse Hasu. So Mouse Hasu pretty much without a nexus right now trying to pop one up right here on Damaga's side of the base or side of the map but uh, Mouse Hasu hasn't done a good job of actually focusing down the mineral uh, the mineral buildings here as we still have the natural completely unscathed. Uh, he really needs to focus on taking the mineral capabilities away from Damaga. Damaga is really starting to bank right here as he has 1600 minerals whereas Mouse Hasu only has a thousand and Mouse Hasu trying to catch these drones out in the open will be force building and oh doing an excellent job of catching all these the queen and all these drones so all these drones will be dying here merciless merciless slaughter we see another overlord going down meanwhile we see all these forces split up we see massive just disarray on the battlefield as the MAGA occupying the two outer expansions right there and we will see the, ex the expansion of Mouse Hasu in danger as these roaches will be coming up here and Mouse Hasu will be forced to cancel it if he actually does pay heed to it. And will he? Do? I'm not really sure. As we see, Demaga actually occupying the natural of Mouse Hasu. Will it be able to build fast enough? I'm not really sure. So Demaga denying, denying Mouse Hasu any sort of expansion. We actually see a random, uh, <laughs> actually a random Nexus coming. And Mouse Hasu is actually supply locked right now. And the only thing he has right now are these three pylons. And he has no production facilities that are actually powered. So. Damaga doing a good job of not not actually engaging the army that he couldn't defeat. So really the playing field has been even as Mouse Hasu just has a whip ass army and he doesn't have any anything in the way of production. As we will see Damaga finishing this off, Damaga has one operational actually has the only operational base right now. He is going to be building his Roach Warren. And actually trying to throw up this uh, other hatchery up here. Trying to defend it with these roaches. These roaches kind of trying to get off of this ramp right here. So once again, we actually see another force field coming down here by Mouse Hasu. We'll be splitting off that nice little chunk of Damaga's army. So Damaga just not really able to engage Mouse Hasu in a manner that is going to allow him to use the entirety of his army. So we do actually see him moving up here. We'll be engaging this Nexus. This one class is very much in danger. It is way out there in the open. Damaga scurrying up here, trying to snipe it. Taking a full volley right there. Oh, and it, see Force Wheels coming down just in time to save it. It's at 14 HP. Look at this though. 27 kills. This guy is a badass. This is crazy. 25 kills from the Immortal. 10 kills from that Immortal. And another 21 kills. So this army of Mouse Hasu really just absolutely dominating the army of Damaga. But Damaga able to macro up here. And just able to sustain the damage, we see another hatchery coming down here. We see only one Nexus coming down for Mouse Hasu, as he does not have much in the way of uh, money left. But we see Force Fields coming down once again. Damaga not able to deploy his units. Mouse Hasu pulling back his zealots so that they are not actually going to be taking fire from what's left of Damaga's army. So Damaga has just been cut in half and basically just little slices cut off one after another after another. So Damaga's hatchery right here will be threatened. We do see him actually cancel it. So. Mouse Hasu, I'm going to look at the last tab as Demaga is way, well not really way behind, but Mouse Hasu doing a good job of just keeping Demaga on the run, but unfortunately, I'm afraid that Mouse Hasu, with the fact that he cannot build up any sort of army, is really going to be uh, force, force fields going down once again, cutting off Demaga's army as it's just sliced to pieces one more time. Demaga's army, these roaches just not having the range to fully deploy. Another, another force field going down. Actually, these force fields will be coming up. So Demaga's army, once again, just being outmaneuvered and outgunned. So Demaga sitting here looks like he will be losing the spawning pool. Might even be losing this expansion. We do actually see this expansion right here. As Demaga has Buku Bucks, but 
Uh, just, you know, he's constantly building up his armor. He's seven more roaches on the way, and that's really what's going to keep Demaga in this game is Mouse Hasu is able to destroy all of Demaga's units in a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle, but Demaga is just able to replenish it, so all... Every single unit that Malhasu loses is a unit that he cannot actually uh, replace. And we actually see... Ooh. Oh, okay, there we go. Nasty, nasty lag spike right there. Not liking that. So we do actually see Demaga threatening the uh, nexus of Malhasu. Malhasu running back here. And we actually see him throwing down another one. So this is going to be the last chance as far as throwing down the nexus. The Roach is chewing on this. Seeing, though, that the forces of Maus Hasu are showing up, there we see one force field coming down. But, of course, this army was going to be more than enough to dispatch that, that, <laughs> those few Roaches. Ha! Laughing in your face, Roaches. Not enough. So we see another uh, nice little lag spike right there. Not really sure what's going on with that. So Maus Hasu moving out here again will be threatening Damaga's uh, little outlying scouts as we see this, this Colossus. 32 kills. That is a boss Colossus right there. So we just see that uh, one roach wither and die as it is crispy and not so creamy. And, oh man, that's just awesome. Damaga, though, doing a good job, though. He can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this army. Just doing an excellent job of replenishing his army. And basically, hey, if you, if you want to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know, I can do it. But you can't kill all my units at once, so I'm just going to retreat. Do some damage, retreat. Although I'm going to lose more... I'm going to be able to replenish it. So right now we see Mouse Hasu just kind of tagging along with these roaches, with his observer, so he can know where the main threat is. We see a, a pylon coming down here for Mouse Hasu. Mouse Hasu desperately trying to chrono boost out an economy here, as this pretty much is his last hope, but I really don't think there's going to be enough. As we look at the income tab, he is pretty far behind. As he has four harvesters, the 19 of Damaga. So Damaga kind of sitting pretty here. As the longer he wastes, Mouse Hasu, though he needs to protect his his Nexus, needs to also be applying pressure. Uh, good job, though, by coming down here with these Stalkers and killing those Overlords down there. Back to the production side, we do see another spawning pool coming down for Demaga, as well as more Roaches, so Demaga just continue to pump out this army. Let's go take a look at the units. He has a 50 Roaches right now, so I really feel that if Demaga wanted to, he'd go ahead and swat uh, Mouse Hasu, as Mouse Hasu only has three Immortals, one Colossus, and six Stalkers. The five sentries, though, will be able to split this force in half, not allowing Demaga to fully deploy his 50 Roaches, as we do actually see Mouse Hasu coming up here. This is really not the position he wants to be in, even though we do see Demaga retreating here. Demaga, though, splitting his forces, will be coming up here on the Nexus, and we do see the sentries coming down there, throwing force fields down. And we just see Mouse Hasu retreating, trying to attack, trying to do some damage here. As we do find it, as Mouse Hasu finds himself in a pincer attack right here. Demaga really putting the pressure and trying to end this right here. We do see Force Fields coming down once again, splitting this army up. We see Demaga pulling off, allowing these Force Fields to uh, diminish. And we just see this Colossus really in danger right here. He has 33 kills, but will it be enough? We see another Force Field coming down on that ramp. See the, co the focus firing down of these Immortals. These Immortals, though, doing so much damage, just not going to be enough. Is there not enough? And we see this one army of Damaga will be falling, but there are no more sentries left. They cannot force fill this ramp. And we see another army of Damaga coming up here. There's only two Stalkers, three Immortals, or two Immortals, and we see Colossus and one last Immortal. Will it be enough? No, it has 38 kills, and it does go down. And Bows, Hasu, GG's out of the game. But guys, that was awesome. We just saw great, great, great splitting of the forces here. Demaga, knowing early on in the game that he could not go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that army, decided to do a guerrilla hit-and-run, basically doing a base trade and continuing just to absorb those blows, absorb those blows, replenishing his army where Mouse Hasu couldn't do that. Demaga did a good job of not allowing any production facilities to remain. And really what did it in the beginning is, is Demaga sniped those nexuses, not allowing Mouse Hasu to have any income. And that was, that was awesome. That was awesome. You really don't see that very often. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. There is going to be more coming up here. We'll be finishing up the finals. I uh, have an hour left. And and I hope that those uh, lag spikes weren't too bad. I will be able to edit them, edit them out. But, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you think of them. And let me know what you want to see. I don't really hear from you guys. And let me know what you want to see. I will be beating this into your head in the last of the series. But, uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much once again for joining me. And, citizens, as always, stay safe.